What's up, YouTubies? My name is Carla. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a three-month hair update of me using Bondi Boost. And I'm also going to be showing you guys what I bought throughout the month of June. And I can't believe that it's already July. It just went so quick. So let's start with my hair update because that's just going to be super quick. So prior to filming this video, I did do my regular hair routine. So I first put in the Bondi Boost Elixir Hair Oil. And I let that soak in for about an hour and then after that I washed my hair out with the hair growth shampoo and conditioner from Bondi Boost and then I put in the intensive spray and then let my hair air dry. I didn't do anything else after that and this is how my hair dried out. So I would say from the time that I started using Bondi Boost to now my hair has felt so much more healthier, so much more thicker. It did grow but I did get a haircut about 2-3 weeks ago. So my length is a little bit shorter, but it's healthier. Let me show you guys a little up close of where I'm at. I mean, you could see some of the flyaways, but I feel like they've grown out so much that it kind of blends in with my hair now. So I don't have too many flyaways. Although I do hope that I start to grow way more, especially in my problem area where I showed you guys before. So let's just go throughout my hair and see if we could spot anything else. So this is usually where I see like the hair growth. Um, you can kind of see some flyaways there, but like I said, they're they're really starting to blend in with my full hair. Even my family is telling me that my hair is definitely growing in. Um, they would used to be able to see my scalp here in the front, but now like it's definitely closing up. I'm not saying that it's gone completely, but it's still there and it's just not that noticeable. And I'm so happy about because, you know, that was one of my insecurities, but now I like feel so happy and so confident to take pictures and just overall feel good about myself. And I'm just so happy that I can even say that. So after I made my two month hair update, I ended up running out of Viviscal and I wasn't even able to get an appointment for at least two, three weeks after because of the whole COVID-19 thing going around. I finally was able to get in and I wasn't taking Viviscal for literally almost a month, I can say. And I was so scared that I was gonna have fallout and that all my new hair growth was gonna be gone but it definitely wasn't the case. I'm so happy that Viviscal isn't that product that grows in new hair and then falls out right after you stop taking it. For all that money to get wasted for my hair to fall out, like I would have been so pissed, but thank God that that wasn't the case and that the hair growth stayed there and it's continuing to go. I do also recommend taking a regular multivitamin along with the Viviscal and also the shampoo and conditioner because it'll just tie in and support each other if that makes sense um I, and i feel like that's what's been working for me i've been taking the multivitamins that contain the biotin and then i've been taking the viviscal pro and then i've been using all of the bondi boost hair products hair growth products and i feel like each of them are helping each other and that's what's been working for me and I'm so grateful that it has been. I'm not saying that my trio will work for you. You never know. It does it, it, it may or may not. Everyone's body is different and I like I said in the past videos, like a lot of you guys have been coming to me saying that nothing has been working for you and then i ask you how long have you been using the products and you guys say like maybe a month and my answer is always going to be continue to use it because a month isn't going to show hair growth a month isn't going to give you results that you want if you really want results you're going to have to stay consistent you're going to continue to take your biotin pills or continue using that hair growth shampoo because it, it's not going to happen overnight and everyone's hair is different so yeah i guess that's all i really have to say nothing has changed i didn't change my hair routine i didn't change any of the products i've been using the only bump i had in my road within the month was that i wasn't taking the 
scalp for about two three weeks but then i finally got it and yeah now i'm gonna show you guys everything i got this is the moment i've been waiting for so if you guys know me you know that i'm constantly shopping and my card just needs to be taken away from me so i have a little bit of everything i have a lot of shirts surprisingly i have a few pairs of pants and then i have sneakers right here so i'm just gonna go ahead and start doing the shirts first i'm gonna be having a side by side of me talking and what the product looks like on so yeah i hope you guys enjoy uh let me know in the comments what item is your favorite from this haul and also let me know what else you guys want to see from me just comment down below and let me know i love talking to you guys if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below also if you don't feel comfortable dropping them down you can also contact me on instagram at it's carla williams so if you guys want to talk just let me know and i'm always here for you guys okay so the first thing i'm going to show you guys is this top from the brand rumors they have really really cute stuff i was surprised when i went onto their website i was drawn to them from an instagram ad of course but this top is a multi-functional top you can wear it so many different ways it's this really beautiful sian taupe color and it just goes great against my skin tone it really brightens up and brings radiance to my skin that's why i picked this color they also have many different other colors like baby blue i think i saw pink black i really wanted to go with something more lighter just so it brings out my skin and i need to stray away from black but i love this top because you can just wear it so many different ways it turns into a new top every time and you can either dress it up dress it down it's really long so it comes with a lot of fabric where you can just wrap it around your body and just make it really cute you can dress it up you can dress it down whatever you want to do it's really cute i'm very excited to wear this i think i'm going to be wearing this on my boyfriend's birthday i'm not too sure but really really cute and 10 out of 10 recommend so this is the next top i got it says a whole lot of hell on it it's from the brand i am coco la really cute it's a rib crop top and it has a side boob action going on really cute simple and straight to the point Next, I got this top from the brand Steel. It's a two-piece top and I really love it because it comes with a bra and then this ribbed crop top that shows a little bit of boob action there. And you can either wear it with just a bra or the tank top alone. I just think that it's really cute, chic, but also edgy at the same time. I'm very excited to style this. I already have an idea of what I'm gonna be doing with it. But yeah, the bra is really cute. Let me take this top off. So it's like a lace bra and it's underwired. Really cute, and then it has a sheer back like that. And you can just wear it as it is or with another top, or you can wear it with the rib tank or you could just even wear the rib tank alone with another top underneath really cute and i'm just so excited to wear this piece this bodysuit is from white fox boutique and it's actually a one-piece swimsuit it's really cute it has the zipper in the front and you can have it open as a deep V or you can wear all the way to the top and just have like a whole clothes kind of look. I love the material on this. It's that really nice swimwear material, whatever that material is, but you can obviously tell from touching it, it's really good quality. It says salty on the side here and yeah it's just really cute i love the way it looks like on if you follow me on instagram you already know i posted a picture in this one too i couldn't wait to wear it and overall i'm just really happy with this purchase i feel like i can wear this so many different ways and it just adds so much more color to my black closet but really happy with this purchase and i can't wait to wear it again again if you follow me on instagram i already posted a picture in this but this is from the brand misbehave it's their rest in pieces shirt from the spring summer 2017 collection and this is not on the retail market anymore i bought this on resale for about 40 dollars surprisingly when the resale value on this is a little bit higher than that but um, it just has this beautiful graphic on the front and then it has a rest in pieces on the back. And it's just a great t-shirt just to have in my closet because I don't have much graphics in my closet. My closet's very 
bland it doesn't have anything too out there other than like different kinds of prints and solid colors so this was a great piece to add to my collection so i've been looking for this sweater for the absolute longest on the resale market i didn't want to buy it retail because it's so expensive and i just couldn't fathom just spending that amount of money on just a sweatshirt but I found it on the real world and it's finally mine. So I got this off-white tie-dye sweater from one of their latest collections. I can't remember what season's from. Let me see if I can tell you now. It is from, I can't tell you cause I don't say it, but I'm pretty sure it's from their past season. Oh wait, maybe it says it here. I don't know. I was not going to spend almost $800, $900 on this sweater. So this is the off-white tie-dye sweater. It has a choker, choker turtleneck, which I think it's really cool. And this goes off to the side, so it gives like an off-the-shoulder kind of effect to it. But I just love this sweater. It's just really great, thick material. It's an $800 sweater. and. Good thing about it, it's brand new with tags, which I'm so psyched about. I always love brand new with tags because if I end up not wearing it, I can resell it for just as much as I bought it for. I'm just so excited about this piece. It's just so beautiful and I can't wait to wear it in the fall because I am definitely not wearing it in this 80 degree weather. Even though I did post a picture of it inside my house, but I'm not leaving my house wearing this. And let me stop rambling and show you guys what's the next item. Okay, so this item, I haven't seen it trending, but like it's something I've always wanted in my own closet. It's a pair of boxing shorts. I have a pair of boxing shorts from the Alexander Wang and H&M collab, but I wanted some true MMA shorts. And I feel like I'm gonna match this with my Misbehave shirt. Right. The purples match so perfectly. It's just this beautiful purple, white, and is this lilac or silver? Something like that color. It's just really beautiful and it's like metallic. It just shines in the light. It has like two flying gorillas on the side, which I think it's pretty funny, but really cool um, graphic on it. And it's really beautiful material, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna be purchasing a lot more boxing shorts, so that's probably gonna be my staple piece throughout the summer, so stay on the lookout for that. Okay, so this piece I already wore on my Instagram, but they're these BDG carpenter pants. Really cool wide leg pants. They give that oversized look, and it's just great quality denim. That's why I love buying from Urban Outfitters, especially the BDG brand. They have thick denim and it's just so heavy and it's totally worth the money in my opinion. It has like this little hook on this side and many different pockets, especially on the back. I like how one pocket's different than the other on the back. It just reminds me of like my dad's jeans, <laughs> literally my dad's jeans, but really cool. Has like that carpenter aesthetic on the front and yeah really cute wide leg and i'm really happy about these i want to purchase more of these pants but they're so hard to find i did order another pair from urban outfitters but they're like on pre-order and aren't shipping out until september which i think is ridiculous but of course i still went ahead and bought them but really excited for those to come in so stay tuned for whenever they do so last but not least in pants, I bought these pants from Heinzio, one of my favorite brands. Can we just take a moment to talk about them because they are so fire. I like stop what you're doing, stop watching my video and go on their website and go research their brand because they are so cool. They, they like, if I was an aesthetic, that would be my aesthetic. Let's just leave it like that. But these pants are so cool um i bought them on poshmark actually and they came brand new with tags so they retailed for 355 dollars and i bought them for about 150 and they're in size one heinz seal has this weird sizing where it's 012 or 123 or something like that they don't go by small medium large they go by 123 or 0123 or something like that but 
really unique brand um they're a korean brand really cool really innovative really different from a lot of the other brands that are out there so i totally recommend go check them out because they are so cool so back to the pants so they have strings hanging down from them all over the pant it comes from the waist it you can make the pant tighter from the back like this and that also hangs down which makes it really cool but it has like this deep cargo pocket here where it has strings hanging down there it has this graphic here it says eclipse and it is 3m so if you put flash on it it will light up and what i think is really cool is at the bottom it has like this interesting corset lacing and it makes the bottom of the pant look really, really cool. So I'm excited to style this. And I already know what my outfit's gonna be. So follow me on the ground so you can see how that turns out. So that's it for all the clothing. Um, let me just show you the two accessories I bought. Yet again, another item that has been posted on my Instagram. This is a Machino and Sephora collab it is actually not a purse but a makeup palette how cool is that it's really beautiful it's warm shades that i'm never going to wear so i don't know why i bought it i actually bought it off of resale so this is like no longer a thing on the sephora website i bought it for about 25 bucks but really cute i wear it as a accessory because i don't wear eyeshadow i don't really wear in-depth makeup so i don't think you would ever see me wearing this palette unless i have someone to my makeup but uh, yeah, I wear it as a little purse in my pictures and that's all I'm gonna ever use it for. I was going to sell this on My Next Fit. If you don't know what My Next Fit is, My Next Fit is my reselling page on Instagram and I do also have a website. So if you see anything in this haul or anything in my past haul that you may like, it might end up on my next fit so go follow my next fit on instagram if you want to buy any of my stuff okay so this is the little dictionary of fashion by christian dior and i don't know why i bought this i really don't know why i bought this i'm telling you i spend money on the stupidest things ever but i did buy this for eight dollars so it is a good deal. <laughs> I need to stop spending money. <laughs> this says it retailed for $20. So I bought it for eight and I guess that's a good deal. And it's brand new. It looks like it's never even been touched. Um, I bought it on Macari from this girl. And yeah, it's in like immaculate condition. It's just a dictionary of like a whole bunch of different fashion words. I haven't sat down and read it myself, but I do plan on just like skimming through it and uh, who knows maybe learning a new word but a lot of the words that i've i'm scanning through right now i kind of know but yeah it's a cute coffee table book in my opinion if you're looking for something to put on your coffee table um i just have a stack of fashion books in my room and that's where this is living right now okay next items so i've been really big on shoes lately especially sneakers um that's all i ever wear i only wear sneakers I'm not a sandal person, I hate showing my toes, and I'm not a fan of heels, although I love a good heel, but sneakers are my thing. So this pair of sneakers I purchased off of StockX, they're the Air Jordan Retro 1 Lows in the colorway Pine Green, and they are just so beautiful. How freaking cute, oh let me just move that. But really really cute i love the color i don't have any green sneakers so this is what i needed in my closet i didn't even try it on yet i got them in the mail this morning and set them aside just so i can film but i am so excited to style these i think i have an idea of an outfit of what i'm gonna do with it maybe in something of what i showed you guys but really cute and yeah this purchase was a thumbs up okay so this pair i bought off the nike website and i got them for about 50 percent off which is insane nike was just having this blowout sale and i just so happened to catch it 
and I got these bad boys and I also bought uh, a pair for my mom and the same style but different colorway she got the gold red and white I did take a picture of them so <laughs> they're also on my Instagram go check them out but yeah I saw her shoes for that picture but besides that I got these P6000s half off on Nike um, I got the colorway in all white they're just really cute I feel like they're nice trainers just to go with an everyday fit and that's exactly what I needed I do have a pair of Skechers that I wear for like an everyday fit but I share those Skechers with my mom so I just needed a white pair of sneakers for myself yeah really cute trainers and they're actually really comfy I wore them once and they're the most comfiest sneaker I think I own yeah they're definitely one of the comfiest sneakers that I, I own I just like the the design of them they're just calm mad comfy and that's all i can say about the sneaker definitely a staple sneaker to have in your closet okay last thing in my haul i bought <laughs> okay at fedex at fedex if you're watching this fedex talk to your your employees because i swear they literally body slammed the living shit out of my package before i show you guys this don't you hate when you receive a package and it comes mad beat up like the mail carrier was having a freaking football game or slam dunk contest or a wrestling match with your goddamn package and it comes all broken and squished and all types of crazy to your door. That's what happened when I received this. When I got this box, the box it was in was crushed in. One side of it was like flipping out. The tape was like ripping off. I can't even keep a straight face saying this. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what happened to this. I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice, but I swear when I got this package, my package was half opened. Not like someone was trying to look into it, but it looks like someone was having an MMA fight inside the freaking truck. I mean, who knows? Last item I purchased was the Nike Shocks TL in all black. Wait, look at this. <laughs> oh, why doesn't the camera do it justice? Look how crazy that looks and my paper's all ripped up. I mean, who knows? Maybe this happened at Jimmy Jazz where I ordered it from but it looks like they were having a horrible day and wanted to take it out of my package. Okay, but yeah, these are the sneakers I bought. Um, they're just all black Nike Shocks TLs. Really cute. I needed another everyday black sneaker, which I didn't have. That's why I bought these. I have Balenciaga trainers and they're just not an everyday shoe. Plus they're like mad heavy for my feet. So I just needed something a little bit lighter and I came across these. They were on the Nike website. I didn't buy them on Nike. I bought them off of Jimmy Jazz, but they didn't have my size on the Nike website. So I was like on a manhunt for them. And I found these actually below retail. I got them on sale for 90 bucks. So shout out to Jimmy Jazz for having that sale and having my size left. But yeah, I bought these and I think I had these when I was in elementary school, but in, in a multicolored colorway. And I was just so embarrassed wearing them. I would like hide my feet just so I didn't get made in front of. But now look at me ordering them in all black. Same exact shoes that I was afraid to show off in elementary school. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, literally any questions regarding my hair journey, my clothing haul, if you need help finding an item on the resale market, I'm your girl. Just let me know. Leave a comment down below or Instagram DM me. I'm more than happy to help you. And yeah, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.